inverse functions and trig ratios 8.2e and we have an ABCDE for lesson 8.2. If you've missed them, they're in the geometry playlist in the description. In algebra, we learned that a function is a relation in which each element of the domain is paired with exactly one element of the range. If we switch the domain and range of a one-to-one -one function, we create an inverse function. See? So now the x is a 5 and the y is a 2. Now, we're going to be dealing with the inverse of sine, cosine, and tangent. So to read this, we would see the inverse sine of x. This would be the inverse sine of 1 half. Okay, that's how we read them. And the function y equals the inverse sine of x is the inverse of the function y equals sine of x. We've got our little function machines. This one is y equals the sine of x. If we put in 30 degrees, our output will be 0.5. This is the inverse. y equals the inverse sine of x. If we put in the 0.5, our output, output will be 30 degrees. And if we know the value of a trig ratio, we can use the inverse trig function to find the angle measure. And we can do this with a calculator or by looking at the graph of the function. So I've got three graphs here, and we can use these graphs to find the value of x for 1 equals sine of x. Then we can write this expression using an inverse trigonometric function. So let's take a closer look. We've got y equals a sine of x. It's got a 0.5 and a 1 and a 30, 60, 90 degrees. We've got a y equals the cosine of x. 0.5, 1, 30, 60, 90 degrees. And this one is y equals the tangent of x. This goes 2, 4, 6 and has 30, 60, 90 degrees down here on the x-axis. Okay? So for 1 equals the sine of x, we look at the graph of y equals sine of x and find where the graph intersects the line y equals 1 and read the corresponding x-coordinate. So where y equals 1 is right here and the corresponding x-coordinate is 90 degrees. See? in that circle. So x equals 90 degrees, we can write 90 degrees equals the inverse sine of 1 and switch the x and y values. See? For 0 equals the sine of x, we look at where y is at 0, it's right here at the origin, and that means x is at 0 too when we look at this. So we have x equals 0 degrees, 0 degrees equals the inverse sine of 0. See? Let's try this one. We have half equals the cosine of x. We look at the graph that has y equals cosine of x. We look at for where the y value is half. That would be right here. And we look at the corresponding x value is at 60 degrees. So x equals 60 degrees. We can write 60 degrees equals the inverse cosine of a half. See? Here we have 1 equals the tangent of x. We look at our graph that has y equals tangent of x. We look at where the y value is a 1. That's 2, so this one right here is the 1. And it's right here, and the corresponding x value is a 45. It's in between there. It's 45 degrees. So we have 45 degrees equals the inverse tangent of 1. Okay? So for y equals a tangent of x, y is the trigonometric ratio and x is the angle measure. For y equals the inverse tangent of x, x is the trigonometric ratio and y is the angle measure. All right? So I know these can be confusing if you have to watch the video again a second time real quick. That's okay. All right? And just so you know, after video 8.6b, we'll be finished talking about trig ratios, well, until you go to trigonometry, and we'll be back to talking about transformations in Chapter 9, all right? So our next lesson is identify and calculate angle measures from trig ratios 8.3a, and Part 2 is solving right triangles 8.3b before we move on to angle of elevation and of depression 8.4, all right? So I hope this was a good explanation, and I hope you're doing well. And keep trying. Keep plowing through this. I'll see you next time. Bye.